they react to bigly <laughs> um it's it actually oh great Hello, I'm NanoMK. Today, I'm playing Minecraft with mods in it. In the last episode, I started, and I built this uh, structure. And in between episodes, I added some glass and did a little bit of mining. Don't worry, I'll still go mining on camera so that I can tell you some of the mods. I have on my other screen a my mods folder open. But the thing is, I'm going to be seeing core mods and stuff like that. However, I can tell you some of the essentials. Speaking of that, I also added mods in between episodes. I added a bunch of doors because I was thinking, you know, I don't know about these doors. I added macaws doors and dramatic doors, which adds like three tall ones. And then I added the uh, automatic two doors thing mod. That's not what it's called. I also added integrated dynamics and dank storage. And um, I did cheat in this doggy charm because I had doggy talents and I didn't spawn with one. And as far as I remember, you're supposed to spawn with it. So I'm going to do this. And now I have a dog. And I think you're supposed to right click on it with a stick. Yes. There. Dog zero. <laughs> so, uh, that's my dog. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Whatever. I'll get back to dog zero later. So, I guess we'll start off with dang storage. Um, that's... Not the first mod we have, but it's the first one I'm going to talk about. It adds, uh, these cool storage things. I'll sh wait, I don't even have enough coal. Yeah, I need to just go mining right now. I made enough ladders. Uh, I will need torches. I have one, I have one coal, so hopefully that'll work for now. I will also bring a crafting table. Okay. I leave the dog behind. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I forgot. Since I have Zycraft, I can make copper torches. Yes. Okay. I don't necessarily need to sleep because I'm going to be going underground, but I should light up the area around my base. And I did find a nice cave that I thought might be... Oh. I hate that sound. I did find a nice cave that I thought might be good for exploring. And mining. In fact, one thing that I need to do is make a better pickaxe. Because I can't get all of this stuff with a stone pickaxe. My iron pick broke and I didn't have iron to repair it. Let me go in here. This should be safe enough. Oh wait, I don't have... Ah. Ah. So I'll be right back. So, um, I need to actually make a pickaxe. And I remembered I saved these two pickaxes because I wanted to see... Obviously the zinc one has more durability, but they're both mining level diamond which is what an iron pickaxe is so i will make this copper pickaxe and not use the zinc and i'll bring extra copper to repair it and get rid of the stone pick and that should be it okay now let's go back to the cave so um let me see i ha i don't know how to do this while moving around oh Nice helmet. Um, but I'll try. 
So in the list we have storage cabinet, we have advanced peripherals, which is an add-on for computer craft, which is now called CC tweaked because someone had to continue it because we're at the point in time where some mods have ceased being developed and people just pick it up for them. So uh, it's an add-on for computer craft, which I also have, obviously. Uh, I have Applied Energistics, Uno. Yeah, you think you know something, Creeper? Well, maybe you do. <laughs> um, we also have Apotheosis. It makes crops grow taller, like sugarcane and cactus. But it also adds, like, enchanting stuff. And that's what's adding all these crazy mobs that randomly spawn with thunder at night. And, uh makes them wear really cool armor with uh, special effects like you know making you go faster that's what that helmet did and then I got this chest plate that does the same thing but more so now I can move even faster -er. aha iron the most important one <laughs> let's see what's next apotheosis I have apple skin. That's the thing that's showing me how much saturation I have. That's a cool view. Yes. Apple skin. AE2. I have applied energistics too. So I actually plan to use that more than refined storage this time, which I also have. I like both. I like AE2 because it's got channels and stuff, but I like refined storage because it's not really difficult to start up like a fighter logistics is. Okay, what? Oh, I was like, why is it not mining? It's, it, I have the right uh, mining level. No, it's because your pick is broken, you dumb. Uh, okay, that's an opening. Let me think here. And there's redstone. I want that redstone. You know, I should have used the ladders and just made a straight down strip mine like I usually do then my inventory wouldn't be so clogged. Uh, let's see, what's next on the list? A2... Big reactors! Yes, I have big reactors. I like big reactors. They react bigly. <laughs> um, it's it actually... Oh, great! It's fighting time! So, while I fight for my life, Big Reactors is kind of what it says. It adds giant reactors that you can make that generate tons of power. Wow, I'm glad I have this armor on. I probably would have been dead in that last uh, interaction. Why do... Oh, great. Now I might actually be dead soon. Um, <laughs> I'll just get out of here. Okay. So we've got combat, which is not a mod. This stupid little thing is from Apotheosis. Just so you know. These little mob boxes. Yeah, this is a silverfish spawner. Get out of here! Die! Really a lot. 
Let me mind this. <laughs> Come on. All right. And it keeps spawning more. Wait, I know. Aha. You never get me now. Take that. Take that, you stupid silverfish. Now you can never come back. Yes. Oh, come on. I just wanted to mine in relative peace. And this has gone far beyond relative peace. This is full on just plain old violence. Which is fine, but not right now. What is this? Growth serum? That for a shears. Okay, I'll take that. Um, so, Neurozai. Yes, big reactors. Uh, yeah, it does all that big reactor stuff. And now my inventory's full, so I have to go back to the base. This is a nice, nice cave, though. I will be back. But I I should probably make a strip mine. Uh first. Alright. And you know what one would need when their inventory is full? Well that would be a backpack. I do not have a backpack mod. Haha, <laughs> psych, you thought I was it was a segue into a backpack mod. But what I do have is a mod that adds backpacks. What nano, you say? I thought you said you didn't have a backpack mod. That's right, I don't. But it adds backpacks. Uh, I have compact storage. Oh, come on! I decided to see if I could survive without iron chests, and instead, with something that does all of the stuff. Oh, shut up. I don't want witches. They they make me die sometimes. Um, so, oh, there's more iron. Delicious. So, uh, I have compact storage. And basically, it's like iron chests, but with chests and bags and barrels but you can upgrade them with just iron and you don't need much see how it, all the recipes used uh, iron nuggets so i was i originally was going to use uh that mod and uh sophisticated storage but then i was looking in the mods folder and i was like wait a second compact storage is only one mod, whereas all the sophisticated stuff is a bunch of mods, plural. So I decided to remove sophisticated storage. Now I might add it back again later, because it has good chests, like really overpowered in a good way, backpacks. But I wanted to try something a little bit more simple for now. So let's put these things away, and put these things away. I need fuel. Anything else empty? Okay, I'll just put all ten in here. Man, these furnaces are slow. And... I don't have iron furnaces, so I'm still going to be stuck with slow furnaces for a while. However, looking at the mods list, I have building gadgets. Direwolf 20's uh, mod that's really cool. That gives you gadgets for building. What else am I going to say? Gives you gadgets for destroying? Actually, it does that too. <laughs> um, uh, it's like Builder's Wands, which I also have, but it's more, it has, it's more technical, more toolbox-like, it's harder, hard to explain. I got it 
mostly because they have he has an exchanging gadget, which I would use very well because it's really hard for me to make myself get rid of all the grass or whatever it is and replace it with a floor or if I'm building underground the floor and walls and an exchanging gadget makes it a lot easier so I got it and for those of you who uh, like that more than builders wands you can just use that it's not bad not so bad mod in fact it's got really cool features builders wands is like the basics and then see after that I have do 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 where was I even in the list <laughs> building gadgets oh yeah computer craft charging gadgets more gadgets for charging the gadgets uh chicken chunks chunk loaders you everyone needs a chunk loader um cares about FTB chunks when you can actually have a block that does it, you know? <clears throat> Besides, last time I... Last, last I remember, FTB chunks limits the amount of chunks you can claim and chunk load as, as well. There's an Enderman. You! No! Get mad at me! I want to fight you! Aha! I got his... I got his eyes. Now, why does this sword make mobs do double the damage sound? Yeah, it's not just my normal hit, it's the sword. Did you hear that? The chicken died at two times at the same time. That is strange. But I need more food, so uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> Not zombie flesh. So, what else is on the list? Uh, I have Cough Core, UFH Core, which is um, the core mod for thermal expansion. <clears throat> that is a good mod, good tech mod. Um, it's one of the classic ones. Almost as old as IC2. But IC2 is classic. Ha <laughs> ha, did you get that joke that it was the best? Yes, I also have IC2 classic. So, I have thermal expansion and industrial craft. How classic is that? Um, except for uh, there's no build craft. Which kind of, that's like thing that ties out all those three mods together but I have create and that should work pretty well it kind of is yeah whatever anyway what else doggy talents already talked about that dim storage it's like ender chests but they don't look ender <laughs> um, I have Enchantment descriptions, fancy menu, that's why the main menu looks like it's my mod pack instead of just generic modded Minecraft. I have FTB Ultimine, I have functional storage, oh yeah, it's like storage drawers, but not storage drawers mod. I have IC2 Classic. Integrated Dynamics, Item Collectors, Jade, Just Enough Items, Little Logistics, Mechanism, Mechanism's good, it's also actually older than most people might think, Mechanism is really old actually, Mining Gadgets, Direwolf's Gadgets for Mining, of course, Modular Routers, that's a good one. More minecarts. Uh, nostalgic tweaks, yes. No telemetry, that's good, especially in newer versions. 
pipes with the Z. Uh, it adds pipes. <laughs> Pneumaticraft. Power. It's a power generation mod. Pretty pipes. It also adds pipes that are... Anyway, uh, ranged pumps, reborn storage. So reborn storage is an add-on for refined storage, which is which I have as well. I have refined storage. All the RF tools mods that are available, I don't have dimensions because that's not out yet. Stalwart dungeons, uh, soul shards, uh, squat. Oh right. Uh, you can press shift, crouch, and make trees grow. I have the, uh, what else? The under garden. That's a cool dimension mod. Tiled cauldron. It makes it so that I can attach pipes to cauldrons. So I don't really have to go to the nether to get infinite lava anymore. Because you can, there's a vanilla feature where you can use dripstone over a cauldron to make lava. And now, all I need to do is attach a pipe to the cauldron, and now I have infinite lava. So that's nice. Uh, let's see what else. Tool stats, torch maester, um, adds torches that can stop mobs from spawning in a certain radius, twilight forest, useful railroads, xnet, and, of course, the actual Zycraft from Zorin. Yes. You've seen me talking about that in the last episode. <clears throat> Turns out, the answer to when is Zycraft going to be released is eight years. Not great, <laughs> but it's released, so... You know. We're, we're, it ha it's released. What am I going to do? Not like that it's released. <laughs> I love that it's released. So, before I do something dumb... Well, I can do plenty of dumb things anytime. I'm going to do this type of uh, mine for mining and, and such. The straight down type. What should I talk about while I do this? Hmm. Let me think. Let me... I didn't bring copper. God, I gotta bring stuff to repair my pick. Let's just take 32. Yes, and I'm still going to be adding a few more mods. I think I'm missing some stuff. Some of that might just be be because um, when 19, all the mods for it aren't out yet. But you know, sometimes you wait for a mod to come out, <laughs> and it doesn't. But you know, uh, you just have to uh, wait it out. Sometimes, like for 114, and. 115 and 116 and 117 I was what am I doing I was waiting for IC2 to get updated didn't you know didn't get updated didn't didn't do anything um then uh 118 nope no IC2 and then finally 119 industrial craft classic not even the main one, which is IC2 Experimental. IC2 Classic, which, in my opinion, is arguably, arguably better. But still, it took someone other than the industrial craft, the main industrial craft team to release it. But you know, it's still actually IC2. It's not FTB Industrial Contraptions. By the way, it's not a bad mod. I'm not, I'm not dissing it industrial contraptions or industrial reborn all the ic2 clones they're usually pretty good but you know you sometimes you just want the real thing and now it's here and so is industrial reborn <laughs>
but I can't have them both because it doesn't the game doesn't like it. So I just chose IC2 Classic because it's better. It has even some of its add-ons. I have the gravity gravity suit classic. Great add-on. Um yes, so I have what I want. Uh and there's a giant water cave. So maybe I should just enter this air cave right now. Erg. All the sheer drops. How? Which direction am I going to get shot from? Behind, I believe. Yes, that's what I thought. Now from in front. It took you a while to see. <laughs> it took him quite a while to see me when I came in front of him, but he could see me perfectly when I was behind him. Okay, what else should I talk about? Oh. So, I guess that general subject of mods coming and going and getting replaced. Um, if you didn't know, industrial foregoing is kind of a replacement for Mine Factory Reloaded. Um, and apparently, I found and can confirm that there is an obscure version of Mine Factory Reloaded that exists for 1.12 and actually works, so you don't necessarily need um, industrial foregoing. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's pretty cool. In fact, you can have both um, installed at the same time, which is nice. That repair pickaxe time. <clears throat> So, uh, industrial foregoing replaces mine factory reloaded. Like, intentionally. Not just it can replace it. It's like it, 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 some of the. Most of the blocks in mine. in industrial foregoing are the same ones from mine factory reloaded. But then they started going and doing their own thing, which is acceptable. And they add they started adding like these cool overpowered tools and stuff. So uh industrial foregoing has really become more of its own mod over time. Where it used to be a pretty good a bit more difficult to get into uh replacement for mine factory reloaded. Uh, I wonder what other mods around now are replaced. Well, I know one that isn't replaced. Well, it kind of is. I don't know. Depends on how you look at it, I guess. Um, extra utilities. Yeah, that used to be around until 114. Well, no, 112 was the last version of extra utilities. And so people made new versions for, I think, 1.16, maybe 1.15 and 16. And uh, those, the, it was relatively okay. It wasn't, it wasn't a full recreation of the mod, but it, it added, it did some of the basic stuff. Uh, I don't remember what it was called, but there was a replacement for it for a while. As of now, there is none, for, as far as I remember, for 1, 18 and 19. Um, but that is okay. Extra utilities <laughs> was always a bit extra. Anyway, good extra, but still extra, because most of the stuff... That it did, we could technically do with the other mods we had. 
and then create create is it just its own wonderful work of art i guess you could call it it's kind of like pistronix if you've ever seen that mod before i was having a hard time figuring out how to use it a while ago but um it's really mostly its own thing and it does a really good job at it it reminds me of uh red power build craft <laughs> uh Oh wow, this guy has no weapon. What are you going to do? Slap me? That's what I thought. And you. Okay. <clears throat> I was probably in the middle of talking about mod stuff, but enough of that. Oh, you're smart. You went in the water. And died still. Wonder how that happened. Cool. So right now I'm just trying to uh, take care of my ores. And I need to figure out the next thing I want to do. I probably need a storage setup, a better one than this. This is actually pretty well organized for me for my first day. Pretty well organized in a while. Um, but I need it even better. So I think it is time for compact storage. <clears throat> and I will be doing that. Yes. Just trying to make sure everything is being cooked. Uh, I'm running out of fuel. Here, take that inside of the fuel section. Okay, so I need a ton of iron nuggets. I'll do this to make even some more. And then making these chests. Oh wait, is there another recipe that happens? This is from a mod called Polymorph, which allows you to switch between, oh, that's what this is. To switch between, between conflicting recipes. These, and these are the upgrades for the the uh, chests, which make them have more rows and more columns. Yeah, the upgrades for this mod work a little bit strangely. So let me do this. It's going to get messy. See? Got messy. Didn't lie. This is kind of a misc chest anyway, so I probably won't upgrade it as much. Eh, I'll give it one of each there. Break this. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna give this one the rest of these. Right now, I'll keep the gems, dusts, and ingots together. I do plan to separate them later. In fact, I put this in here when I shouldn't have. Okay. Let's upgrade this to a compact storage chest. Uh, I think I am out of iron. Oh, I have a little tiny bit more. This will be 
the organization for now. I will definitely enhance this more later once I have more iron. But now I have a higher quality basic storage setup. I'll leave this... Nah. Let me turn it into a compact storage chest, and then I'll put it. You know, I can separate these now. Ingots and nuggets, gems and dusts and stuff like those things. This is empty. This is miscellaneous. And this is building blocks, so I can take these out and put these in. Probably. Okay. And one last thing <clears throat> before you have to wait until next episode. Yes, I want to make a dank one. Yes, one of these with some of these around it. That gives me a dank. Um, let me give an example of how this works. Let's see if I remember how to use the mod anyway. So it's kind of like a backpack. Let me pick up items. Gray doesn't pick up anything. Green picks up everything. Only picks up items that are already put. Yeah. So let's say I put dirt in the dank. And then I go to pick up some dirt. The dank picks it up and stores it. Now since this is like a low quality dank. It doesn't store like huge amounts. I don't know how much this one goes up to. Uh, limit is 256. So I can have 256 of uh, any item in each of these slots. And then I, when I upgrade, I can upgrade to the Dank 2, which requires lots of redstone. Dank 3. And basically, the stack limit gets higher and higher. Look at this. This is another star one. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. Um, and also they add more slots, so it's really good deal. So these dinks are really good for mining. Oh, it shows what's in it. That's cool. So I, I will be taking this with me when mining, probably. And I can also make a dock. Oh, I need black concrete. This is a weird recipe. But I can put my dink in my dock and I can pull items out of it and if I have a storage system which I will have later I can um, sort it so that will be cool but right now that's the end of the video goodbye So, Dog Zero, what can I do with you? Hmm. I like this one.